This is legs 9.2. So we have uh, a really good workout. These are basic movements. Um, we're just gonna increase the reps, maybe put a band on a couple of them to make them more challenging. So your first movement is walking lunges, walking lunges. So you just need to find anywhere you've got some space and you can do some walking lunges. So you're gonna have dumbbells at your side, shoulders are rolled back and down, abs are in nice and tight, nice big step, hold your step. See how her shoulders are stacked over her hips, over her back knee. You wanna work on getting that back knee as low to the floor as you can, come out. Okay, your goal is range of motion with this, okay? So if your weights are too heavy and you can't get your knee down to the floor, lighten those weights back up and work on getting that back knee to the floor with control. Don't bang it off the floor, lightly kiss it to the floor. So nice big step, shoulders over hips, over back knee, abs in nice and tight, and take it forward. So you have 20 walking lunges, that's 10 on each leg, okay? That should be nice and challenging. That heart rate should be super high when you're done with those walking lunges. Next, we have banded goblet squats. So you need your heavy lower body mini band. It's gonna go above your knees. One heavy dumbbell at the chest. Abs are in nice and tight. Nice wide stance so that I'm putting pressure on that band and I'm putting pressure on the outside of my heels right here. Weights in the back of the heel, the outside of the heel. Pressure right here so that those knees don't collapse. Abs in nice and tight. I'm gonna work on dropping, getting as low as I can, having those elbows between the knees. Drive through my heels, squeeze my glutes as hard as I can at the top, okay? Shoulders are rolled back, chest is high, back is nice and flat, abs are in nice and tight. Do not, as you lower, show my knee collapse. Don't let those knees come in at all, okay? Up, pressure and tension on that band the entire time, okay? Banded goblet squats. All right, next we have dumbbell deadlifts, dumbbell deadlifts. All right, so this one, use a mirror, use a turned off TV, use something so that you can at some point turn sideways and look at your form with this. Okay, this is the one of the harder moves to get. And if you're feeling this in your lower back, it means you're doing it incorrectly. So first and foremost, before I do a deadlift, I always roll my shoulders back and down and I engage my lats right where that bra strap hits for females, guys, right there at the top of that rib cage, okay? Squeeze it nice and tight, you hold that position. Put my weight in my heels, my knees are soft, tuck my chin into my chest, and I'm going to slide my hips backwards. Hips go back like that. Tension is on the back of the legs and the glutes, okay? Drive through the heels and bring yourself back up. So when you're doing this, you, you shouldn't hinge forward like this. That is gonna load that lower back. When I'm here and I'm pressing back into my hips, all the tension in the load goes right here, comes out of the lower back. And then when I'm engaging this upper back in my lats, I'm turning this into a full body exercise, okay? Full body exercise. So you should feel everything right here, right here, and right here. Nothing in that lower back. So take your time. If you question your form, start with a lighter weight, get that range of motion, use a mirror to the side of you, a blank TV or a turned off TV, anything that you've got to keep those shoulders back, chin tucked, really work on sliding those glutes backwards, drive through the heels and pull yourself back up. Okay, don't raise up from the lower back. All right, that's your dumbbell deadlifts. All right, next we have split squats, split squats. So it's just a, a lunge without moving basically. Again, shoulders stacked over hips, over the back knee, and you're just gonna lower down, working on getting that back knee to the floor, drive up, squeeze, tighten this front leg and push that knee into that thigh. Abs are in nice and tight, drop low, drive, squeeze. Drop low, drive, squeeze. So you're gonna stay on one side like this for all your reps and then switch your legs, okay? That is your split squats. All right, last and final, we have some banded work, okay? This is gonna work on hip alignment. So you're gonna take your heavy mini band again. It's gonna go above your knees. Your first one is banded abductors, which is the outside of the hips and your smaller glute muscles. So even though she's laying on the floor, she has her pelvis tucked under, she's engaging her core, core excuse me, her back is nice and flat to the floor. There is no arch. This is still a trunk to lower body exercise, okay? So keep the entire body engaged feet or shoulder width apart. You start with tension on the band and then you just increase to more tension. So you're just gonna squeeze out, 
only squeeze out as far as you can without letting those feet roll. I don't want your feet to roll onto their sides. So you're just gonna squeeze out like that, keeping the back pressed into the floor the entire time. Okay, so those are your banded abductors. Now we have banded hip bridges, same thing. Feet are shoulder width apart. Have really good tension on the band. I'm gonna hold that tension the entire time. I'm gonna drive up again, squeeze my glutes as hard as I can. Make sure that pelvis stays tucked under, lower down without touching the floor and right back up in it. There you go. So those are banded hip bridges. Again, do not let the knees collapse up here. Squeeze the glutes, curl that pelvis under at the top, squeeze hard. There you go. Those are your banded hip bridges. And that is your leg day 9.2. Okay.